Hi all, it's James and I'm back for the Barbican Theatre in Plymouth to give you a couple more games that you can play on Zoom, so let's get started. The first game I'm going to talk about has actually been recommended by Tara Hazen on the comment up to the first video and it's worked really well on our Zoom games and that is counting to 20. You assign someone to start the counting and say 1, but then you do not assign an order to the rest of it. The rest of the group has to spontaneously count to 20. It sounds quite easy, however, if two people say the same number at the same time, that means you have to start again from one. So for example, you go one, two, and then two people say three, and you have to start again. Obviously in, the, in a room this is quite hard, but on Zoom it's even harder with internet lag, but it makes it all the more fun, and more the more challenging when you get to 20, and what you feel so triumphant when you get there. If you're in smaller groups, it is easier to get to 20, so start with 20, but then maybe push it to 25, push it to 30 over a period of time. The second game is called King of the Jungle. This is sometimes called Heaven and Hell, or King John. It's got lots of different names, but we like this version because it's a bit more fun. So the King of the Jungle is an elephant. So assign someone the elephant, and they have the come up with the sign like this, elephant. The bottom of the jungle is an aardvark, whose sign is this. And in between that, you need to send an order of hierarchy, and each one has to be a different animal. So underneath the elephant, so the second in charge, could be a tiger, and you could also have a giraffe, and then down in the aardvark, you could have like a cockatoo. With that order then, you play the game. So what you do is you say elephant to cockatoo, and then the person who's cockatoo has to go cockatoo to aardvark, aardvark to tiger. And it goes on like that. However, if someone stumbles or someone doesn't respond to their call, they are out. So say you knock out Tiger, everyone underneath Tiger works their, goes up one to the next animal. And they go up the hierarchy. That's why it's really important to have the pen and paper next to you when you're doing the hierarchy so you know who moves to the next level. The aim of the game is to become the elephant. So say you knock out the elephant and you're the Tiger, you're then now winning the game. It's a really good game, but it's vital to have that pen and paper beside you, otherwise it can get a bit confusing. Having that pen and paper means you know the order you're going in. The last game we're going to go through is an improvisational game. As a group, you need to decide a word or describing object that someone has to improvise, be that tiger or something else. One person then improvises that for about 20 seconds. And then as they're improvising, they're talking and they're doing some physical movement, you need to encourage that. And then at the end of their 20 seconds, they freeze. Now, whatever the last word they said, the next person starts improvising based on that word. So say if they said tree, the next person has to do an improvisation about a tree. Then if the tree says house, then they have to do about house, so on and so forth. My key tip as the facilitator of the event is to make sure you keep everyone to those 20 seconds. And also you keep an ear out for that last word. Keep a pen and paper nearby so you can write down what the last word was, just in case someone misheard it. And also make sure you keep the 20 se seconds sharp and short. So there you have it. Three more games for you to play on video conferencing software. If you want to find out more about the Barbican Theatre, subscribe to the videos below, go visit our website, and we hope that you find these useful. And please comment below if you've got any other games that you find that work really well over Zoom.